Hello boys and girls, today we are going to talk about graphing. In the video today we will create a bar graph and tally chart using a picture. Here's the picture that we will use to create our bar graph. This picture is labeled school supplies. Here's the bar graph that we are going to fill out for our school supplies picture. At the top we see the title bar graph. We could title it the same thing, school supplies, but I just wanted to show you that it, this is a bar graph. Down here, we see the sections where we will show how many pencils, scissors, markers, and books there are. Let's come over to our school supplies picture and count each of our objects. Let's start with the pencils. One, two, three, four, five, six. I count six pencils. That means we need to fill in six sections next to the pencil in our bar graph. Right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's count our scissors. One, two, three, four. Four pairs of scissors. Those are going to go right here in our bar graph. One, two, three, four. Now we can move down and count our markers. One, two, three, four again. Those are going to go, you guessed it, in the marker row. One, two, three, four. Last but not least, we have our books. One, two, three. Here they go in the book row. One, two, three. Now let's answer some questions about this bar graph. First question is, which object has the most? Hmm, let's look at our bar graph and see which of our rows is filled in the most. That would be the pencils. There are more pencils than anything else. Next question. Which object has the fewest? Now let's look at our bar graph and see which one of our rows has the least amount of boxes filled in. That would be the books. Great job. And last question, which objects have the same amount? Now we need to look at our bar graph and see, are there two objects that have the same amount of items? That would be scissors and markers. Great job. Now let's work on a tally chart. This picture is labeled shapes. There's a lot of shapes in this picture, and let's see if we can put them in a more organized way to count how many of each of the items there are. Here's our tally chart. At the top, we see the title tally chart. So this is different from a bar graph. In the bar graph, we used boxes to fill in to show how many of each item there were. In the tally chart, we're gonna do it a little differently. Right here in our tally chart, we see how we are going to organize each of our shapes. Let's come over to the picture and start counting. Let's start with the orange rectangles. One, two, three, four. Now, like I said, we are gonna organize these a little differently. We're not gonna be putting boxes for each of the rectangles. We will be putting a tally or just a line to represent each rectangle. I'll show you what I mean. One, two, three, four. One line or tally for each of the rectangles. Now let's count our blue triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six. That means we need six lines, one for each of the triangles. Let's come over to our tally chart and fill it in. One two, three, four, but on the fifth 
tally we need to cross over four. That way we keep it in sets of five and it's very easy to count at the end. But we don't just need five, we need six. There we go, six tallies for the six triangles. Now let's count and tally our purple circles. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This time we need seven tallies. Remember, when we do tally number five, we need to cross over the first four to keep it in sets of five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven tallies for the seven circles. Last on our list is the yellow star. Let's count how many yellow stars there are. One, two, three. That means just three tallies. One, two, three. Great job. Now let's ask some questions about this tally chart. Which shape has more? But notice with this question, I'm having you compare just two of the shapes the rectangle and the circle. Which one has more, rectangles or circles? The circles has more. There are seven circles and only four rectangles. Great job. Which shape has less, the blue triangles or the yellow star? Definitely the star. There's only three stars and there are six triangles. There are definitely less stars than triangles. And which shape has more? The orange rectangle or the blue triangle? Which one has more? The blue triangles. Great job. There are six triangles and only four rectangles and six is more than four. Great job. Let's review a few important points. When we were looking at the school supplies picture, it was difficult to quickly tell which one has the most or least or same amount. But when we filled out our bar graph, it was very easy. That's one reason it's so helpful to use bar graphs when looking at big groups of information. It was the same thing when we were looking at the picture of the shapes. It's difficult to tell just from the picture how many times each of the shapes are shown. But when we put it into a tally chart, it makes it so much easier. You can do this, boys and girls. Use those bar graphs and tally charts to understand the information that you're looking at.